in this video clip, you will see the first two days of me handling this young filly. She's a two-year-old that hadn't been handled very much at all. I work to see what she offers and flow with her, and then I ask her to flow with me and get her operating off of the field that I'm presenting down the lead rope. I work on my timing. If I can get my timing such that as her foot is about to leave the ground, I ask it to go somewhere else like that. Not, I'm not looking just for her head to go over, but her foot like that right there. Now the right front, over, good. Went over about three inches. I'll just lead her up. Good. Now I'm gonna see if I can get her inside hind to reach. Want it to reach under like where a navel would be. I'll get in time with it with my right hand. I'm on her right side, looking to get the reins connected to the feet. Right hind's leaving the ground now. Now, I'll ask it now. There, keep moving forward now. I just want to change the placement of that foot. It's leaving the ground now. Now, so I'll squeeze now. And again, and now keep moving. I'll ask her to stop. Now I'll get in time with the inside hind and I'll lift, lift, there. It's a good girl. That was nice. I need to get a good circle first. That's pretty decent, I'm pleased with that. As I'm on her left side, my left hand is the leading hand, my right hand is the supporting hand. So I'm gonna take the tail of the lead rope, put it in my left hand, then I'll run my right down the line. And then right now I'm moving kind of towards her shoulder a little bit. I'll shift and go towards her hip and I'll ask her to step across with her inside hind. I need her to keep moving her front. I don't want her to lock up. I want her to stay balanced. But I'm looking for steady steps, reach, Step, 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 and I'm good with that. Let her stop there. I'll ask her out again, and then we'll change directions. Run this hand down the line, advance on the hind. That's pretty nice. Now I'm gonna push some slack, see if she'll follow that lead rope. I've been working with her on the circle, trying to get her mind on the circle, so I'm trying to get her mind on the new direction here. Okay, as we're going around the circle, we're getting ready to change directions. Let's watch what I do with my hands. My right hand's the leading hand. Now I'm gonna put the tail of the rope in my right hand and I'll run my left hand down and advance on the hind. And then as I push, slack, and encourage her through, now my left hand is the new leading hand and my right hand is a supporting hand. <clears throat> now I'll change hands again, put the tail of the lead rope in the left, run my right hand down, advance on the hip, now push slack here, good, and the front end went right through. My right hand's my new leading hand. My left hand is a driving hand. Now watch my feet. My feet are moving forward. I'm not going to be backing up. That would draw the horse on top of me. And I'm not going to stand completely still. And I want to be moving with my horse to be able to help shape her. So my feet are moving forward and kind of towards her shoulder, kind of working to, to push her off of me and to help her shape correctly. As I change my hands on the lead rope, and my feet move forward towards her hip. Now as I get ready to change the direction, my feet will stop. I'll push some slack here. I'll spin the tail of my rope there. Now my feet will move forward again towards her shoulder. And I could do a variation on that too. Step towards the hindquarters here. Bring the front end and then push the front end on around. As you're coming, just go that direction there. Keep moving forward. Good. Now then, Go to the hind, bring the front end over here. Good, get on the new circle. And now we just kinda, I'm just trying to get her to feel of the end of the rope and then kinda follow it some. Follow it over to my left, a little further. Good, now back to my right. 
Good. A little more. Good. I'll help you. I want her to trust me. Whatever it is that I introduce to her, trust me. I start out with myself between her and the flag. See if she's curious about it at all. Then I'll introduce it to her from behind her shoulder. I'm not looking to scare her with it. I'm not really looking to touch her with it. I'm looking for her to accept whatever I offer. Forward and calm is the answer. Without worry. Without worry. That'll work. Take it away. Let her check it out if she wants to. Let's see what she does. If she needs to move her feet, she can sure move them. That'll work. But they need to be going forward and calm. We'll go to the other side see what happens. Just see what she presents, you know, see where she is. Forward and calm, not forward and worried. The walk would be good, nice and easy. making a lot of noise in the wind and that's just part of life in the panhandle of Texas. We're going to have wind. There. I'll get out of there. I'll come back in. i got to be careful that I don't come in at a place where she's going to get worried and she might kick me. But I need to come in from behind her shoulder where if she does need to move, she can move forward. offering for her to stop her feet now. See if she'll take me up on that offer. There. I slowed my energy and I put a little feel on the lead rope to offer her to stop. There. It's one thing for her to put up with something while standing still, but she needs to accept it while her feet are moving. If they are only standing still, a lot of times they can just shut out the world. Then all of a sudden when they wake up, it might get pretty exciting. She offered there just to kind of check out the flag a little bit. I'll let her if she wants to. One of the places I see a lot of folks get in trouble is that they'll pet them with a flag or a stick or lunge whip or something, and they'll say, here, trust me with this. This won't hurt you. Trust me, trust me. And then they ask them to go, and the horse won't go, and so they smack them with it. So in effect, they're saying, trust me, trust me, bam, you cannot trust me. So I'm not going to whack her with this to get her to go. I'll find a different way to get her to move her feet if I need her to move her feet. I might make a little commotion behind her with it, but I'm not going to smack her with it. I want her to trust my judgment, so I need to tell her the truth. It's a pretty simple deal. That's a girl. If you're interested in checking it out, come right on. You're welcome to follow. And I'm not trying to get her to go fast, or I'm just trying to get her to move her feet and accept this commotion, that's all. Follow the feel I'm presenting on the lead rope. That would be one of just hang with me, walk nice and easy. There's going to be some commotion in life. And she's got to be able to accept that. There. I'll go to the other side, see what happens. She's looking for a little support. So I'll give her a stroke. Let her know, hey, we're, we're all good. I don't want her desensitized and dull. I do want her accepting, but I want her sensitive, responsive. 